Welcome back. Our next guest is a New York based artist, filmmaker and educator. Her work has been shown at various venues across the world, including the New York Jewish F Film Festival and the Ackland Art Museum, just to name a few. We welcome Daniel Derschlag to Virginia this morning. Welcome. So this is your first time in Richmond. That's correct. Thanks for having me. And the first time on TV. First time ever. What's wrong with folks in New York? They didn't put you on TV. <laughs> Maybe they will. <laughs> okay, after this, of course they will. That's right. So let's talk a little bit. We were talking about you've got the exhibits in uh, different museums and things like that. About what? Well, all of my current work mm -hmm. um, is really a series called Bounty, and it all explores the political and psychological complexities of American Jewish wealth. That is my topic. Okay, so... Um, Obviously, there's, there's rich people everywhere. Do you, do you get to talk and hang with rich folks to, to do research? <laughs> well, I'll come out to your yacht later today. I wish I had one for yeah. you. I <laughs> no, no, is that don't. what you tell them? It's like, I'll come to your yacht and hang? Well, the reason why I make this work is because I actually grew up in a wealthy Jewish American family in Chicago, Illinois. And what really interests me about the Jewish wealth specifically is the combination of really well-earned victimhood. Jews have been persecuted and unfortunately yeah. continue to be persecuted all over the world. When that combines with privilege, you get a really fascinating mix of stuff. Um, and one of the sort of central themes of the work is that American Jewish wealth is really a dedicated form of wasp drag. All right, so, and you're going to define that for us. Sure, I am. So for families, <laughs> Wait a minute. wealthy Jews are have wasp drag. Right. So drag is sort of when you perform as something that you weren't originally, okay. right? Oh. And um, traditionally, okay. we think about it as you know a drag queen putting on makeup and sure. a dress. But it, I'm using it in this way because for a lot of Jewish families like mine who came into their success in the 40s and 50s, who was wealthy then? Wasps, yeah. right? So for a lot so of that's our, how you have to act. That's right. We yeah, took on rich, the rituals yeah. and the aesthetics of that community, and that's what I'm really interested in exploring in my work. <laughs> this is so. I mean, it's to me, it sounds it sounds funny, but it's very serious to you. Look at what is this a photo of we're seeing on the screen? Oh, so now we're seeing some of my not your family. Actually, these are relatives of mine. This okay. is from a series called Relative Unknowns. And these are all collages that I made that are based on photographs of people that I know are related to me, that are in my family history, but whose names and identities have been forgotten over time. We only have their photographs. I think oh. a lot of families have this, right? Yeah. That box of anonymous photos. They're like, who's that? Well, right. whoever knew is not with us anymore. That's right. And you so don't want to throw it away, yeah. right? But, but it, somehow it just sort of stays in the box. What I did was I recreated those photographs using paper, tape, and glue to kind of get them back on the wall. And that's why the series is called Relative Unknowns. Okay, so um, th th these people uh, are well-to-do mm -hmm. and they are kind of modeling themselves after other well-to-do people who are not Jewish. Right. And so they kind of blend together there. That's right. And is that a problem? Is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing or is it just a thing? It's complicated, right? Yeah. I think um, sometimes it totally makes sense. Sometimes it can feel a little inauthentic, like we're playing at being something we're not, right? But what really interests me is how Jewish culture combines with WASP culture in these families because of wealth. Now, you're married. Do you have children? I do not have children. Okay. So you have a fund that you're working on. Is that true? Or something you're working on to... to Oh, a film, I'm sorry, about a film, I got confused. That's okay. Now tell us about the film. Right, so the film uh, that I've just made is called Eleanor of Illinois, and it just premiered in New York at the New York Jewish Film Festival. Wow. And this film, believe it or not, it's about six minutes long, and it took me over two years to make. And who is Eleanor? Eleanor of Illinois um, is played by the brilliant Judy Kuhn. She's a Broadway legend. Yeah. She was in the original production, if you can believe it, of Les Miserables, so she's really the stuff of American yeah. acting dreams. And for this film, um, it had a very unusual start. So there's a movie called The Lion in Winter. Yeah, Remember that movie? Play. I saw the play. Yeah. yeah. So in the late Very, like, dramatic. Totally. Right? It's the stuff of melodrama. Yeah. And the late 60s movie stars Katherine Hepburn as the Queen of England mm -hmm. in medieval times. And I grew up watching this movie on a loop. I loved it as a kid. And it wasn't until I became an adult and became an artist that I figured out why. It was because even though that movie was about Christian royal people, mm -hmm. It really reminded me of my own family's dynamics. <laughs> Growing up in a wealthy Jewish Chicago family, we did a lot of the same stuff in the film. We would go to these ritual dinners, in our case, Jewish ritual dinners, mm -hmm. and we would kind of fight it out over who was loved and who wasn't, who was going to inherit and who wouldn't, very similar to the film. So that film inspired Eleanor of Illinois. Wow. All right, so if we love Mrs. Maisel and see her parents, 
Mm. Will we, are th those the kind of people we're talking about? That's, there's a lot of similarities there. Yeah. I think that the Maisel family does great wasp drag yeah. on television. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. very funny. Right. Very yeah. funny. Is your family funny? Some. Some. <laughs> Good answer. It depends. <laughs> It was great meeting Thank you. Thank you so Welcome much for having me. Come back and visit with us. Nice talking with Danielle. And we wish you the very best with everything you do. And I Thank bet you. it's going to be a great hit. For more information on Danielle's work, we'll put a link on our show website by early this afternoon. WTVR.com slash VTM. Stay tuned. Virginia This Morning returns after this.